Hey everyone, I finally got around to doing a video where I wanted to recap my experiences at the Audio Developer Conference this year. So the conference itself was about a week and a half ago, and I've been busy trying to kind of catch up on the schoolwork that I missed during the time that I went to the conference, but it was a really valuable experience, and I just wanted to say a few things about it. So the first thing that I wanted to say was that Juice have generously uploaded all of the workshops and lectures from the conference onto their YouTube page. So I have it pulled up here, and uh, I'll go ahead and link you to the page uh, in my description so you can go ahead and check it out. But there's a lot of really valuable information in here, and there's everything from developing cross-platform apps and Juice to what's the state of audio development today to testing testing out how to test out your uh, VST to make sure that it's uh, operating in the most efficient way and a lot of others a lot of other stuff so I won't go through uh, the specific lectures because they're just too numerous to kind of go through but uh, a lot of really valuable information and I'd really suggest that you go to Juice's YouTube page and check it out so another the next thing I wanted to talk about was just kind of the experience of going to a conference and it was my first time going to any sort of developer conference and I just wanted to speak about that a little bit so one of the first things that I was really wondering was you know what's it going to be like to be around you know professional developers my first time really being around uh, a lot of professional developers and it was really enlightening for me because I got to meet up with uh, developers that were working for some of the companies that I've uh, as a music producer that I use their um, I use their software every day like uh, Ableton Isotope uh, Native Instruments there was there were so many key players in there and it was just really an exciting experience for me and I was uh, and and you know one of the things that I could say about the conference is that you really get an insight into what uh, what it's like to operate in that world of audio development and um, you know, the things that they're thinking about and that they're kind of focused on, you know, heading into the future, uh, things like machine learning. So that's, that's a great place for me to segue into the next thing that I wanted to discuss. So basically I was at the audio developer conference representing Goldsmiths University, which is where I'm a student. I'm in my final year and, uh, I was chosen to represent, uh, the university alongside a research associate named Mike, Mike Zivzinski. And we were representing a uh, machine learning library, which is a joint effort between Rolly, uh, Goldsmiths University, ERCAM, and a few others. And so uh, there's a machine learning library for C++ and JavaScript. It's called Rapid, Rapid Mix API. So I'll go ahead and I'll pull this up here. So this is the website for it. And uh, as I said, it's a machine learning library. Um, and the way, the way that it's designed is actually designed to uh, make machine learning accessible uh, if you don't really know a whole lot about machine learning. So you don't necessarily have to get into uh, some of the deeper aspects of machine learning like um, confusion matrices and backpropagation. Uh, even though you have several different algorithms on there where you're able to use those things. So, um, so the Rapid Mix API offers things like uh, k-nearest neighbor, neural networks, uh, linear regression algorithm. So you have several different algorithms, and they're really designed to be uh, easy to implement into your project. So this is something that's really kind of on the forefront of what's going on in uh, in audio development right now. So Isotope have used um, several machine learning uh, algorithms in some of their latest plugins, like uh, uh, Ozone and uh, their uh, RX, which is their um, their filtering their filtering plugins. So they use the uh, I, I actually spoke with one of the guys from Isotope and he was telling me about some of the uh, the way that they use machine learning and that it's a very big component of the way that they develop uh, for their plugins in the future. And I see this as something that's going to be absolutely huge. Um, you know, with, within the next uh, you know two to four years for uh, VST development. So. Uh, this and, and this and this library is a C++ library. It's a JavaScript script library. There are several examples on the page that you can check out. And uh, one thing that I think I'm able to announce, I hope I'm able to announce it, is that uh, this Rapid Mix API is actually going to be rolled into Juice eventually as an official Juice 
juice module. So eventually you will have uh, this library um, rolled into juice where you'll be able to implement machine learning uh, algorithms into your project. But for people that can't wait, there's um, you can actually download the API now. So, uh, so I'll go ahead and I'll link you to this page and you can actually just, you can actually just download this. There are several examples on here and I can uh, link you to an example of a project that I, where I used rapid mix API. So it's, it's really interesting. And, um, you know, as I said before, it's on the forefront of what's going on in, um, in plugin and audio app development and just, and just app development in general, whether it's audio or not. So, um, so I would advise you to check it out. So um, final thing that I'll touch on is, you know, to kind of segue in from the machine learning library is, you know, a lot of people have kind of approached me at the conference and just in general and said, you know, what are some ways that I can learn about machine learning? What are some ways that I can start thinking about machine learning in, you know, a way that I could, that I could use it creatively for my application? And, you know, this is a big area that people are still – I think exploring and, you know, I think it's a big space for, um, for a lot of improvement. And one, one thing that I wanted to point out is a course that I'm actually currently taking, uh, but you can actually take the course for free, um, via a website called Cadenz. Uh, I don't know if it's Cadenz or Cadenze. I don't, everybody pronounces it differently. So I'm not sure the actual pronunciation Cadenz. I'll just say Cadenz. Um, but this is, this is actually a uh, course that I'm currently taking uh, at Goldsmiths University. And the instructor is Rebecca Fiebrink. Uh, she's one of the foremost minds in um, creative applications for machine learning. And uh, the course is just absolutely great. And so this is a great course to take if you're really unfamiliar with machine learning and the concepts behind it, but you want to get more familiar with it, you want to think about ways that you can use, um, you know, a, a machine learning library like Rapid Makes API to start developing in your app. And you're like, well, how do I get started? Well, this course is a great way to get started. And you can actually enroll. Um, I think if you want a cert certificate, I think it costs a bit of money um, to get like a premium account. But if you want to just audit it and just watch the videos themselves, it's actually free. So, so it's a free course and it's it's excellent. I don't, I, I can't recommend it enough. So if you want to learn about machine learning, check out the library. Um, as I said before, be sure to go to the juice YouTube page, check out the uh, different videos for all of the lectures that are, that we saw at uh, the audio developer conference uh, this year. And that's where I'm going to end this video. And um, I hope to see you soon.